Evil Knievel made millions jumping his way into motorcycle history. Now Knievel's 26-year-old son, Robbie, is following in his dad's footsteps. I look up to him. I mean, he was always like a superhero to me when I was little, I guess like he was to a lot of little kids, and he always crashed and kept getting back up. I don't want to fall in his footsteps completely. <laughs> I don't want to break all the bones. Evil Knievel broke almost every bone in his body during his career in the 60s and 70s. Robbie has only had minor accidents since he started jumping cars about 13 years ago. Now he'll attempt to jump 22 without using his hands. I go off the ramp and let go all the way through the air like a ski jumper, and uh, it was just a little added twist. Look, Dad, no hands. And his dad will be watching. Evil spends his time keeping an eye on Robbie. This week, they're at Portland International Raceway preparing for this weekend's big jump. Both admit they are very much alike, and that may be why they don't always see eye to eye. You know, Robbie's of the frame of mind that he's a he's Superman, he can do anything that he wants to, and, uh, you know, I know better. He didn't want me to jump any further than 13 cars. He thinks I'm nuts. But I wanted to come out here and, and set the record, and that's what I'm going to do. Come Saturday, 22 cars will separate both ramps, a distance of about 180 feet. It will be a new world record if Robbie Knievel is successful. At Portland International Raceway, Al Segala, Channel 2 News. two cars and vans at the Grand Prix last July 31st there in Portland. I almost flipped over. I'm going to be going about 30 or 40 feet further. And uh, I hope I make it because I want to come back there and buy a house. 